Systems and Kongsberg Defense unveil the Integrated Combat Solution, ICS, a high-tech situational awareness tool for battlefield vehicles. Now, the ICS is going to be enabling vehicles to share video, target data, and commands in real time, which are going to give warfighters faster responses to emerging threats. Kongsberg is developing the ICS, while BAE Systems is going to be integrating it into U.S. Army and Marine Corps combat vehicles. Of course, future upgrades planned as tech evolves. Uh, it sounds like they're using an open system approach. The ICS can connect seamlessly with any platform equipped with sensors and weapon systems. Uh, that's that's huge. Troops are going to be able to control multiple assets, weapon stations, jammers from one single interface. I mean, <laughs> really, this it's, is good. It's it's cool. It's super yeah. fan. Like mm -hmm. it's fascinating. Kongsberg is going to develop it. You said. Yeah. And BAE Systems is going to integrate it into the fleet of combat vehicles. Yeah. So I think that the integration is the most critical. The new tech is always fascinating. It's always cool, but it's pointless unless it can actually be used. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it, it is. It's integration, isn't it? Um, every, every step of the way. You can't, can't disagree with that one. Um, how, do we, how do we fix that issue, I think, is, is the main thing. Um, especially integrating all of that kind of asset mm -hmm. stuff, video, target data, commands, et cetera. So, um, yeah, well, I think I know, what's the solution? You know, the ICS is going to use an open systems approach for yeah. what they're saying is a seamless integration on any battlefield platform. Yeah. So we have an integrated network that enables it to link to the sensors on different battle or to link sensors of different battlefield assets together. Mm-hmm. This approach means to me, we have to have a strong handle on what we're doing with our requirements management. Again, again, I, I'm going to go beyond that. I'm actually going to say it's their supply chain integration that they're going to have to work on. I, I, I really think so. I think getting that ICS data flow with combat vehicle systems using shared metadata for smooth integration, th that data exchange protocol for those sensors, for the weapon stations, it's all about cascading that data out into your supply chain, making sure they're fully integrated so you're able to adapt and and, and resolve as you go. So I'm, I'm going to, and then I'm going to bring in a bit of AI for analyzing that data to prioritize those threats. Otherwise, everybody's running around like a headless chicken. So help them prioritize that in, to, in terms of AI sensor analyzation. So we're looking at users can control the weapon stations, the turrets, yep. the jammers from a single interface inside the vehicle. The entire system is designed with integration in mind, which, so you already said, so I said number one was requirements for integration. You said no, number one, supply chain. I'm saying number one is actually the design and testing portion okay you know what when we talk about plm being an integrated process itself where the success depends on all the parts it, it's true because we could really argue for any of these being the number one solution here right like the area we need to really dive into and supply chain integration is all part of the product life cycle so oh, agreed all yep. of it. Okay. The entire okay. critical thread. That's yeah. Without yeah, the way we agree is just by saying that everything matters. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's great. 